The central prison in Hatterville of the George Price Highway is currently home to 1,300 inmates. 452 of them are awaiting trial, with 58% of the latter figure on remand for murder. It is a staggering reality for the Belizean and foreign nationals at the prison, which the Kobe Foundation has been managing since 2002. Discipline and order are life skills being taught behind prison walls. Gangs are not allowed. If you are not disciplined, then we're going to discipline you. If you don't keep order, then we're going to put you in order. Simple as that. That is what it means. Assaults, inmates fight from time to time because they are tense. Some of them are not sure what is going to be outcome, the outcome of their cases. So you understand that coming to prison is already the punishment. Coming to prison, they are already, they are already afflicted or they are already hurting over that. The most of the assaults happened at Tango 5 for this period because we had members of the MS-13 and members of the 18th Street who were at war. In the prison, we don't allow you to practice your gang rituals nor your gangsterism. It doesn't work in a prison. We're going to discipline you if, you if you get involved or if you're involved in gang activities. As far as I'm concerned, when you come to prison, all of you are one. All of you are one. I have no MS-13 here, no 18th Street, no George Street, no SSG. You, you are prisoners, not gang members. The statistics show that for 2017, most inmates are behind bars for immigration offenses, followed closely behind by crimes of dishonesty. Majority of it for this period has to do with immigration offenses. Those are those Guatemalans, Hondurans, and Salvadorans who keep coming here for illegal entry, entering Belize without documentation. The next big chunk, if you look at the chart, has to do with crimes of dishonesty and violent offenses. Crimes of dishonesty are things like robbery, burglary, theft. And then violent crimes are things like maim and assaults, these kinds of things. Okay? This chart compares imprisonment by offense with last year. And if you notice, we saw a little drop with crimes of dishonesty. Immigration offenses went high, 19% increase. When it comes to murder, this year 34 persons are on remand, which is two more than last year. While violent crimes also went up, the number of alleged attempted murderers and arsonists decreased. Belize City continues to account for most inmates. But of course, Belize City is the most populated of all districts, so that is expected. And if you look at San Ignacio and Belmopan, you know, they seem to be doing a number two. When you compare the district last year with this year, same period, we saw that Belmopan had a slight reduction. Belize City had a little reduction, nothing much to talk about. Corozal, but if you look at independence, it shot through the roof, right? Yes. Along with San Pedro. The Wagner's youth facility is the area that houses the young offenders, inmates under 18 years of age. That is among one of the areas that is difficult to manage. Virgilio Murillo says that the prisoners are crafty in using toothbrushes, padlocks, and even paper as weapons. And there is where we have the bulk of our problem. The next area we have problem is Tango 8-2. And that is the building that houses the rival gangs. So that explains why they would want to have weapons, because they are not so certain. They don't trust each other. But we still have that under control, because for you to find only six weapons in a period of six months, that is amazing. If you look at 2016, we had already found, we, we found 115 weapons in 2016. To date, we have found only 35. If the year ends out like this, we're looking at 70. Based on ethnicity, most of the Creoles and Hispanics are in detention with over 300 persons each. Mestizos are at 109 and Garifuna 54. Other cultures, including Maya, East Indian, and Kechi, account for only 8% of the prison population. Dwayne Moody for News 5.